I don't know. I know. I know where I want to start from. Go ahead. And uh, I want to start from Man United and Ralph Rangnick. Four 0 You have always been very critical. You were very critical of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer when he got fired. Um, when Rangnick came, you believed that he was the man to take ten things around. Um, if, before I put words in your mouth, let me show you this, Coach. Do you remember this? Uh, this particular tweet. Uh, this is from you on December 29. Mm -hmm. uh, December 3 was a Friday. We did Panorama on that day at 13:18 uh, GMT. You were getting ready to come for the show and you were gaslighting United fans uh, like you always do to promote the show. And you put this out there, uh, Coach Christopher Nimley. You said, when the Godfather walks in, all the kids stand and submit their tactics to him. Definitely. Listening to Ralph, the DNA of this United team is already reborn. Sure. And all the against supporters unions will feel the sensation in yeah, their bones. <laughs> go Ralph Rangnick. Go United. Go see yourself. Coach, I want you to read this in your own voice. No, because it sounds, ready. yeah, I know. But it sounds, I like how you say it. It sounds, <laughs> it sounds okay. better in your voice. Okay, okay, like, okay, okay. Yeah, I'll go on. When the Godfather walks in, all the kids stand and submit their tactics to him yes. listening to rife the dna of this united team is already reborn and all the again supporters you know will feel the sensation in their bones that's right go ralph reinick go united go see r7 yeah perfect that's right uh, this is from you right? yeah now i have a few questions go ahead um have the first of all have the kids submitted their tactics to him Second, is the DNA mm -hmm. reborn? Third, is Ramney still going? Is Sierra Service still going? Is United still going? You said you go all those three items. Yes, so, so Ramney is still going. United is still going. CR7 is still going. Do you know why? Uh -huh. The fact of the matter is this. At the time of writing this, yes. we were all of the view that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was solely the problem. Mm. And when you go and pick the brain behind Jorgen Klopp, they have never de denied that. Mm -hmm. The one who virtually tutored Toto Alotte, he has <laughs> never denied that. Has Toto denied that? He has never. He has never. Coach, do you know what I really want to say? <laughs> you Somebody just... said he gave them all her ass. No. <laughs> so... You see, at the time yeah, of tweeting this, copy. no, at the time of tweeting this, uh, whoever knew Ralph Reinick clearly will buy into everything I said there. The manager walks in, I say one month into his way, he told the board that with this crop of players, close to 12, 13 of them, it's just not up to it. The manager said, it is clear that 30% of the goals scored in the Premier League are from set pieces. So as a tactical genius, we will spend 30% of our training session practicing set pieces. Hey, Maguire, go. what is that? Where from him? Who knew him? Where did you bring this man from? Rashford and Cole. Then they started complaining. So three weeks into his reign, David De Gea said, the intensity of this man's training is the best I have seen for the past three years. That was a dig at who? At social. Mm -hmm. Look at David De Gea's performance. Ronaldo has never complained about this man. Veran has never complained about this man. Bruno Fernandes has never... Uh, Jadon Sancho. Elanga never complained. So when, instead of the players submitting themselves to be coached, one of the things that made it even more serious, okay, we have, Man United will be playing 7 p.m. in the next game. Ralph Rani says, as part of my routine, as part of my way of doing things, our next four or five training section will be at the time that the game will be played. Hey, Rashford and Cole, they started complaining, started leaking to Paul Scholes and Gary Neville and Ross, saying all sorts of things. So, I am happy that after putting out this tweet out there, Mm. The board 
the people of at Man United have seen that Rannick is not the problem. That is why he's staying on. Rannick is not the problem. That is why he has gotten Man United to appoint his first choice as head coach of the team in Ten, uh, uh, ten Hag. Uh, is it are the Algerian supporters union still feeling the sensation? They will feel it. In ah. due course, don't feel it. <laughs> in due course. In due course. <laughs> don't feel it in due course. You see, this man you not feel it is because it? Rannick? Of course. Have you listened to Tony? So Rannick will leave and another man will is come. It, Rannick is not leaving. Rannick came in as an interim manager. But he's going so to you're saying that if Ten Hag comes and starts years. to perform, mm -hmm. We should always be giving the credit to Ryan. You see, not always giving the credit to Ryan. But he has a part to play. He has a road. part to play. You see, it is it is transition or transfer. Okay, let's just say you're saying he laid the, he would have laid he the foundation. Have laid. And look, here's my other question to you, Go coach. Ahead. You said that now Ryan has come to expose the fact. Yes, that, he's done that. Um, the players uh, are not good are enough. the problem. The, yes. the, the players are the problem. Yes. In hindsight, though. Mm -hmm. Were you were we fair to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? Because he, now it's obvious. It, now he, that you say it's obvious, the no, players no. were the problem. Have built, always been the problem. This is Ole's team. So he, was, he was. Ah, do you want me to go on? He didn't buy the hair. He bought four Bisakis. Uh, Magua. Uh, Magua. You are full of praise for oh, those players. Oh, listen now. I'm not the one spending the money. If I'm spending, I will not buy one Bisaka. I will not buy a size 58 size defender who cannot jump and run and pass the ball. I will not spend 80 million, seven years. You contract, said one Bisaka was the best 1v1 defender v1. the league has ever seen. I have never taken that away from him. And why would you the, buy that? The game has evolved. If you put, if Did you, you know me, that when you are you describing him the, as... No, I said 1v1 defender. He's yes. the best. I'm not taking that away. You don't but want the best 1v1 no. defender? It, I'll go for the Chelsea boy. What is the name? Rhys James. Of course. 1v1, you won't beat him. And when he comes over to, he adds something special. Mm. So if I've got money to spend, you 1v1 defender. Do you need me to remind you of what you said when United signed Maguire? You said ball playing Maguire. He's ball playing. What ball has he nobody, been playing? Nobody denied that. You see? I, I can't no, see no, it. No, no, no. Let me tell you something. You see, when a player is being bought into a team. You look at what the man has done elsewhere in Anadad. So this job that so we do... So when you did that... Listen, this job that we do, there are things we say that don't based happen on always. things we have seen. Yes. Mm -hmm. and there are things we will continue to say based on, based on things we'll be seeing as in the case so, of Maguire. Yeah, so, yeah, I get you it. Understand? So here's my question to you mm -hmm. on Maguire. Yes. So you're basically saying that at the time United signed him, mm -hmm. from what you saw, mm -hmm. it was a good signing. From what I saw at yes, the time, yes. he wasn't my first option. Yeah, but you have But to once you didn't signed. get him, once you didn't, no. Would I, the question, would I have signed Maguire? No, I wouldn't have signed him. Because there were two players to be signed at the time. Mm. The one that Pep Guardiola bought. Ruben Diaz. Ruben yes. Diaz. If you look at the two of them, obviously the Portuguese boy was the best defender. But typical of United, English-centered, English-oriented, English players, Zuko English players. <laughs> that is what they want to go and buy. So when you I look, coach, I, coach, I remember something different. I don't remember you quite clearly counting the players United should buy. Apart from Maguire, you also Maguire. mentioned Madison. You mentioned Chilwell. No. You said they were all coming I home. Say, I said Chilwell. <laughs> <Eani Bulabe. laughs> but Chilwell is a solid left back. So, yes, you see? Is. so if United had bought Chilwell, look, the only player I wanted United to buy from Leicester was Chilwell. I didn't mention Maguire, did I? What about Madison? No, Madison in Kelly and Chehani He said he was. <laughs> this way, Chehani Bulabe, which literally means that he should respect himself. As and when we come calling, he should, should submit. He said, and I remember famous I words. He myself. said, no, your, your famous words were, he has agreed to extend the contract so, so that when you like it, on condition that. On condition <laughs> that when we come calling, he will come home. We have not no, gone to call But to put things into context, yes. um, United didn't sign Madison, but he, he highlighted a need for a number 10, and then they went for Bruno, Bruno Fernandez. Fernandez. You remember at the time. So okay. we got with Bruno Fernandez numbers is beyond measure. Look, the fact of the matter is. Three months on from the tweet, you think that this team has checked out. Yes. They know. For the season. Out. Not for the season. Yeah. Ah, oh, most of them are away. Oh. Ah, what like, season? Crap. The team, apart from the goalkeeper, uh -huh. Varane, uh -huh. Sancho, uh -huh. Bruno Fernandez, uh -huh. Cristiano Ronaldo, uh -huh. Elanga, uh -huh. the rest are all Zuku. They've checked out. 
They've checked out. Okay. Do not look. Mata, Matic, Cavani, Pogba, Lingard, uh, uh, Phil Jones, Bailly, Bailly Wambi Saka, Alex Telles. Sure. They've all checked out. They've checked out. forgetting Marcia. He's still a United He's player. checked out. Wow. Marcia is okay. not going to come back. Okay. And you know what I'm doing? Let, let me make my last point. Yesterday, uh, Inketia and myself mm -hmm. and Yao Minta, mm -hmm. we did something fantastic on radio. You, you saw the Caicedo boy. Mm -hmm. you, that boy was offered to Woodward and Matt Judge, the one who used to carry Woodward's briefcase all over the place, the one who gave Maguire seven years contract, 200,000 pounds a week. The boy was offered to United for just six million pounds. He said they won't buy the ball. I sat on Sports Panorama that I have called at Woodward. Go and pay the money. That ball is 20 times better than Scott McTominay. Of course. Look at McTominay's technique. A player... I think even in the Premier League, you can find 30 years better than I McTominay. say, if I train for two weeks... <laughs> no more... <laughs> If I train for two weeks, if I go and hit up and hit oh, up Charlie, and hit, hit up, up and hit up and hit up <laughs> on my toes, on my toes for two weeks, two weeks, break and looking pass, break, pass, pass. <laughs> ah, what? Matomini, I would do twenty times better than he's done. That's you. you look fit. You are fit. That has never been in that. <laughs> never. Have you ever doubted my in fitness? This, your coach, you, fit. you can't doubt my fitness. Sure. <laughs> Good job. You understand? Sure. So, so this is, look. Your point out. is very well made. And then yeah. let me just make my, lap, my last point on the Liverpool oh, yeah. Spurs game. Look, I watched that yes. game. If you believe in coaching, this is coaching from Antonio Conte. Klopp says he doesn't, he's not, he said it's his personal problem with teams that play like this. Yes. Ah, but you won't always seem to come and dance to your team. They I should talk. come and play to the way you dance, you play the music, and so that you dance to them and beat them. This one, look, but for the deflection, when we did the game on radio, after the first half, I said, look, Spurs will win this. Yeah. Because this game could go on all day and Liverpool were not going to break them down, but very typical of a very good team like Liverpool. They when you cannot way. carve them open, you try all other means. And one of such means was to drive the ball from distance. And this Luis Diaz boy. Oh boy. Player. This Luis Diaz boy. Fantastic player. Look, he don't, again, United should have bought him. They had a chance. Even they should have paid the money. Yeah. But the board said, the board told Rannick, no. We won't spend any money without a substantive manager will be eaten into the transfer budget of that manager. So, no player. He okay. wanted a midfielder. He wanted a striker. At least give him three two. But for Cristiano Ronaldo and David De Gea, United will be 15th in the league. I don't, I don't doubt it. 15th. Uh, <laughs> Daniel, 